This is a presentation by the City of Minneapolis Public Works Transportation Engineering and Design Division with information related to the proposed 2021 Street Resurfacing Project Special Assessments. A special assessment is a tax collected by the City for improvements or services the City provides that benefit your property. This slide shows the topics we will be covering in the presentation, which include how assessments are calculated, interest rates and the term of the assessment, payment options, and information about the public hearing. We will also list resources and contact information if you have any questions about your assessment. There are two components that are used to calculate special assessments for street improvement projects in Minneapolis. The first component is the influence area, or more specifically, the square footage of your property which is within the influence area of the project. The second component is the uniform assessment rate for the proposed improvement. Assessments are calculated by multiplying the influence area square footage by the uniform assessment rate. We will explain both of these assessment components in more detail in the following slides. The influence area method involves bisecting the angle at each street intersection to create non-overlapping areas of influence. Doing this creates four triangular influence areas in a typical downtown block, like the example on this slide, and trapezoidal and triangular shapes in a typical residential block, like the example on this slide. This slide illustrates what an influence area might look like for a typical residential street. If you look at this typical residential block example, if Avenue B was being resurfaced, the property area within the pink trapezoid would be within the influence area of the project and subject to assessment. This influence area method is a way to uniformly assess properties based on square footage that is fair to corner properties. So in this example of a rectangular corner property, only the relatively small pink area will factor into their assessment for Avenue B. However, they will be assessed based on the white area when street Q is improved. Uniform assessment rates are reviewed and updated annually and approved by City Council. The uniform assessment rate is the same for each type of improvement for all similar projects throughout the city. The 2021 uniform assessment rate for street resurfacing projects is 66 cents per square foot for non-residential properties and 22 cents per square foot for residential properties. Again, this uniform assessment rate is the rate that is multiplied by the influence area to calculate each assessment amount. This slide illustrates how your assessment is calculated using the dimensions of a standard residential lot where all of the parcel is within the influence area of the project. The total square footage is determined by multiplying the length by the width. So for this example, we'll multiply 40 feet wide by 125 feet long for a total of 5,000 square feet. This number is then multiplied by the uniform assessment rate, which is 22 cents per square foot. We'll come out with a total special assessment of $1,100 for this lot. Your assessment amount may vary from your neighbors. That is because not all parcels are the same size, and some parcels are not located entirely within the project influence area. Assessments over $150 will be collected in five annual installments. Assessments of $150 or less will be collected in one installment. To pay the assessment on these terms, you do not need to take any action in advance. They will be collected through Hennepin County property taxes after they are levied, typically beginning the year after construction. Once they are levied, simple interest is added to the assessments at a rate that is tied to the sale of municipal bonds used to fund the project. This interest rate is calculated by the Minneapolis Finance Department. The current interest rate for five-year assessments to be levied in 2022 is 2.4%. The rate for one-year assessments to be levied in 2022 is 2.1%. The interest is calculated based on the unpaid balance, so the interest amount decreases slightly each year. Let's go back to the sample assessment we saw in an earlier slide. Our sample assessment amount was $1,100. Divided up over five years, this would result in an annual principal payment of $220. Adding in simple interest, 
this would bring the annual payment to approximately $245. If you wish to prepay the assessment to avoid paying interest, please request a prepay invoice by contacting the Special Assessment Office at the email address listed on this slide and in your public hearing notice. Payment must be in full. Partial payments are not accepted. If you do not prepay the assessment, you can still pay off the remaining balance at any time during the assessment and avoid paying some of the interest. To get the payoff amount, you can contact the Special Assessment's Office. There is a deferment option available for seniors 65 and older, individuals who are permanently and totally disabled, and certain military personnel. To qualify for this program, the property must be homesteaded and the assessment must be $750 or more. Please note that this only defers the payment until some point in the future. It does not reduce or eliminate the assessment. The amount is added to your property taxes and continues to accrue interest until the property is sold or changes homestead status. For more information on this program, please contact Paul Keating in the Special Assessment Office. A public hearing will be held to allow for public comment on this proposed project. During the declared local public health emergency for COVID-19, Minneapolis has transitioned to an electronic format for its public meetings and hearings. The date and time of the hearing is listed in the public hearing notice you received. Ways to participate in the public hearing are detailed at minneapolismn.gov meetings. You are not required to participate in the public hearing. If you wish to object to the assessment, you may write a letter and send it to the city clerk's office or email the city clerk at the email address listed on this slide and in your public hearing notice. Your written objection must be received no later than the date and time of the public hearing. You also have the option of objecting by providing live comments by phone. Anyone interested should fill out a form found under the Participate by Phone in the Meeting heading. Once submitted, a phone number and conference code will be emailed to you. Contesting using any of these options preserves your right to appeal to district court. If you have general questions about the assessment process or questions specific to your property's assessment, we encourage you to email the Special Assessment Office for more information. If you don't have email, you can also contact the Special Assessment Office at 612-673-2401 and leave a voicemail. Staff will return your call as soon as possible. If you have questions related to the project, such as when the work will be done, access issues during construction, etc., please contact the project manager at the number listed in your public hearing notice letter. Thank you for taking the time to view this presentation. Additional information is located on the special assessment website listed on this slide. There's also a frequently asked questions sheet that can hopefully answer any questions you might have, or you can email the special assessment office for more information.